Hey guys, it's Kelly. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing 10, I think it's 10, ways to save money as a student because being a student myself, I know that funds are low all the time. Like, there's so much things you have to spend money on as a student and it's very hard to save money as a student so I just have 10 things that I taught just to kind of help you for any student. So my first tip is to take advantage of student discounts because a lot of shops and like websites and stuff have student discounts. It's just a matter of asking for them. I'm sure there is a list somewhere if you Google like shops that have student discounts, you will find one. So just bring your student card with you everywhere and try to take advantage of discounts because you usually do say three or four euro on everything, which is a lot of money in the long run. So my second tip is to get like a club card or they're called different things at different places. But basically it's just a card that you like scan every time you buy something in a shop, if you go to that shop often and you like gain points and then with your points you either get like money off you get vouchers um you get like free things they can be really handy and they're free to sign up to as well so it's just kind of handy to have them so my next tip is for the people who live alone or don't live at home in college it's just that only go shopping and buy the food you actually need don't go do a whole week's worth of shopping and buy like fruit or something that you don't actually eat till the end of the week and it's gone off by then. It just means like maybe doing two or three small shops every week or even going shopping every day and just getting the things you need instead of doing one massive weekly shop just so nothing gets wasted. So my next tip is one that I actually use. It's just to buy your textbooks second hand. Textbooks can be expensive. Some can be like ridiculous. Some, depending on the course you're doing, some can be like up in the hundreds. So try and get your books second hand. They're usually fine. People only use them for a few years. They're more than likely gonna be in good condition and they're so much cheaper to buy second hand. And then when you're done with them, you can sell them on second hand and just like have this big recycling of textbook thing. So my next tip is for all the people who love like clothes shopping and stuff. It's just to buy secondhand clothes. This could be like going to a secondhand shop, a charity shop, or there's a lot of apps and stuff that you can use. I know the 21 Buttons is an app. You can sell your clothes secondhand. And also there's other apps like that. And then there's also an app called Uni Days, which gives you student discounts that you can use in online shops. I'll leave my link down below. If you sign up with my link, you'll get, I think it's five euro or five pounds wherever you live, free credit. So yes, I'll leave it there. It's not sponsored, but just, yeah, I'll leave it there if you want to sign up. So my next tip is if you're a person who goes to the gym a lot or like likes to go to the gym, it's just to use your college gym. Most colleges have a gym and it's usually free. And if it's not free, it's often very cheap. So instead of paying hundreds on a gym membership, just use the one in your college. It's so much cheaper and it's the exact same thing. So yeah. So my next tip is that if you're someone who like makes a lot of smoothies and stuff, my tip, I do this because I just find it easier. Um, it's just to buy frozen fruit and it's usually about two euro or so for a bag of frozen fruit, but it lasts so long. So yeah, I recommend that. So this next tip, I know it works for Netflix. Um, recently someone told me you can do it on Spotify. I don't know if that's true. I don't understand Spotify that much. But it's that if you and a few friends wanna get Netflix, you can have up to five Netflix like, like people on the one Netflix account. So if you all like throw in, my Netflix is 10.99 a month. So let's say you all threw in two euro, you could pay for your Netflix but the five people could use it. Does that make sense? It's so hard to explain. Well, in my head it is. One person used their credit card to create or to sign up an account, and then you can yeah, you can have five people use it and still only pay like two euro each, instead of you all paying 10.95 for five people. You can just all chip in. I hope this makes sense. I'm just gonna move on because it's taking too long. Sh share your Netflix with your friends and you pay less money. So my next tip is to use your college Wi-Fi. Most, co like every every college should have Wi-Fi. Um, it's usually free and it's just less money on your phone bill. And my last tip is to buy your school supplies in bulk. I know that in my college that you can buy pens and stuff. And I think a pen is one euro for one pen. Whereas if you go into a shop and buy like 20 blue pens, it's usually like three euro. So it just makes so much more sense to buy like 20 instead of buying one. You end up saving money and yeah. 
So, yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope it helped you at all. Or I hope you got a few tips from it. Make sure you check out my last video. It's linked down below and in the end card. And all my social media and my vlog channel are linked down below. You should go follow and subscribe to them. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>